Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Fry Art Museum Virtual Visits. My name is Negara Ekadumu, and I'm the manager of program, public programs at the Fry Art Museum. And today I'm super excited to welcome Manuel Pina, a Cuban-born, Vancouver-based artist and professor at the University of British Columbia. We are super excited to have you here with us Manuel, if you wouldn't mind by starting out by telling our audience a little bit about yourself as well um, as about your practice. Uh, well, hello. Thank you very much for the invitation. And, and uh, it's been a long time since we first spoke, but we haven't actually really met. And we are in this new situation in which, yeah, we're going to have this new ways of meeting are coming together now, yes. right as we are now, this moment. Um, yes, um, I don't know uh, where should I start. Um, I, as you were saying, I was born in Cuba, but I have been teaching in, in Canada, living and teaching and working in Canada for the last 16 years now. And it has been, uh, of course, uh, very profound experience from anything I would expect. <clears throat> um, and that, of course, has affected my practice, uh, just as has affected my way of seeing the world and my place in it. Um, and of course, we are now living in a situation which is calling into question all of those again. Mm -hmm. So it's exciting, it's challenging, but uh, there are many possibilities opening up we're seeing and they seem very promising just as there are many challenges that were also uh, called to deal with so yeah we are yes um about i don't know a little bit my, my, my journey i started probably as as a photographer or somebody who was using photography, I, I, I would never call myself a photographer because I never went to art school. And to this day, yes, I, I, I do teach photography in university, but uh, I'm not an expert, far from that, as far as photography. So my approach to, to art making has been always that of an exploration, an ongoing exploration, an experimentation and learning. Um, and that's what I try to convey with, with uh, in my classes, just a uh, spirit of openness, uh, of embracing the new and seeing what it has to offer to us, which is it's a beautiful way of becoming an artist, I always say my students. Um, so yeah, that's what that's where we are at now. Um, I just finished my class half hour ago. Uh, and this is the last, previous to last class. And um, it's been, a, of course, I'm sure everybody who teaches is sharing that new, uh, again, challenges and opportunities. Mm -hmm. My first class on my full, first full term online. And we were just talking about how, um, how the term has turned uh, and how uh, our conversations are have been both of healing, sharing this journey and this moment and thinking about it together, mm -hmm. but also of discovering in terms of, um, we, I am very interested in, and, and I try to, to, to convey that fascination to my students. I'm very fascinated with, with, the, with the new images that have become our vernacular language mm -hmm. with the communication, how communication happens online, mm -hmm. and how this language is uh, heavily image based, but it's also uh, a lot about text and links and how things, these new spaces that we navigate, mm -hmm. really be fascinated by that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's becoming clearly increasingly important even the fact that now our existence of such an important part of our existence occurs mm -hmm. in those spaces. Mm -hmm. So I think these are 
key questions to consider as are the bronzes as human beings. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are my concerns as artists mm -hmm. or as a teacher or the concerns that I share in my classes. Mm -hmm. Are you primarily, primarily exploring those concerns through photography or do you work in multiple mediums? <laughs> well, what is photography? That's the first question, right? Uh, so we use GIFs. Is that a photograph? Certainly not. There is um, a quality to these new images that we can't quite uh, point to. Uh, mm -hmm. Just, just we just finished that conversation, which I I, I think that it is very important that we embrace uh, abstraction mm -hmm. uh, and what these images offer in terms of talking and communicating and exploring things that we can't necessarily put a finger on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do we feel about the present? Mm -hmm. uh, how do we see ourselves? What is the sense of being that we share? Uh, so, no, they're just images. Photography is a very narrow uh, slice of all of this universe that is that we that we just use and and, and take for granted. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, and 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 which is a beautiful thing. Right, we don't think much of them uh, as we use them, but slowly they have to taking up an important part of how we communicate, mm -hmm. and that's a fascinating possibility that, as artists, I, I think we should explore. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at in that direction. Wonderful. Yeah. And so you had shared with me um, last week, I think it was, about a new project that mm -hmm. you are embarking upon. And so, would you mind sharing a, a little bit of that with us? Yes, um, again, uh, thinking about this as a moment of challenges and possibilities, mm -hmm. uh, and given my now long experience as a teacher, um, I, at the beginning of, uh, of the crisis, the COVID crisis, I, 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 I started to notice, and I think we are all noticing how the new relations are emerging online, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, and things like spirituality, something that for most of us was so separated from the, this technological world, now is is so connected uh, mm -hmm. and, and making things possible in new ways. Um, so I started to think also about, um, well, there are many things happening, but that led me to, to think about um, education, of course. Mm -hmm. and how, how do we teach these days? Mm -hmm. What kind of what kind of uh, engagement can we create in these new environments? And how could that solve some of the many challenges that we know education carries, particularly higher education? We know, uh, we listen, we hear all the time about critiques about the education to the education system, mm -hmm. the higher education system. These are challenges that are very hard to overcome because it's, 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 it's such a all, all encompassing uh, uh, set of connections between universities and the economic system and the military complex mm -hmm. and social arrangements. So, but being in a new world, um, it's a good place to, to think about what is possible. And that's what my project has, has turned into an inqu inquiry into what is possible in terms of what new ways of education what new ways of learning, mm -hmm. uh, and and it's nothing necessarily that is, is happening, mm -hmm. and it's happening for a while. So my project is that of a school that is both a, a place, but also a portal and a platform, right? A place where we have a set of courses that in the conventional way you would get accredited for, mm -hmm. But at the same time, here you will find links or or or, or or encounter other teachings that that can bring something to your life. It's a school that is that it was a dream, but now has become it's becoming a reality because we found uh, a partnership with um, with an indigenous college with the Yellow Tribe. Um, wow. Yeah, Indigenous College in, from Alberta. So now those who take 
uh, some of our courses will get accredited. And it's a healing school, right? Wonderful, it's, wonderful, it's, wonderful. So it's based on the indigenous healing ideas and practices. And, and, and uh, so it's, it's both a, a land-based learning and an online learning. So it is, it's just taking from everything that we have our hand, in our hands right now and mm -hmm. try to make sense of them and, and put them in a place so that you can just come here and, and, and navigate this, this universe that is the learning universe mm -hmm. that is there, right? We learn in very different ways now. That idea of the teacher coming and being the one who, uh, you know, uh, concedes you or, or gives you the entry point into the, into the knowledge, right? That, that figure is, is gone now, is, and, and, which is very much a colonial figure. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. Indigenous knowledge has always been about learning from everything around us. So, so knowledge is everywhere, and we should embrace that multiplicities of learnings mm -hmm. and teachings that come to us, mm -hmm. both online and in the physical space. Yes. So that's how the, 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 the core idea behind that or underlying that school. So the, the school will have a physical space? Uh, we'll have, uh, we'll meet in land works, uh, we'll go into to meet some teachers in their land. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We're going to have uh, la languages. We're going to one of the first. Our first teacher is a uh, is um is a polyglot. He knows uh, he speaks seven languages, but he's the the last holder of two of them. Mm. Like, so it is an emergency to 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 go into to to meet him and to try to rescue those worlds that are about to disappear. Mm -hmm. so there is all this urgency there too, right? Of, mm -hmm. of, uh, um, so it's, yes, it's both. We don't have, a, well, we will have a classroom too, but it's mostly going into the land uh, and encounter the knowledge right there. Right, uh, right. With the teachers, but also with everything around it. With the, mm -hmm. with the right. That's really, really amazing. I'm just looking forward to hearing more and more about that. Um, you've already sort of talked about it, touched on it lightly in certain places. We know just the, the onset of this pandemic and then the resulting quarantines, the various lockdowns that has all forced um, us as individuals, but you know, the art world as sort of a collective body to really change in some very difficult ways. But you specifically mentioned the opportunities that you think mm -hmm. at this time has, yeah. has presented us with. I was wondering if you could speak a little bit more in detail to what some of those opportunities are as you see them. Well, there are so many, right? Like, um, we, can, we could have right here in this space, quote unquote, because we are coming together in, in place that we cannot describe any. Mm -hmm. But uh, we could have here uh, a teacher right here with us, a teacher from anywhere in the world right now. That's, that's absolutely unbelievable, right? And actually, we, we also know that the kind of empathies that are possible now, we're just discovering new forms of empathy. Okay. New ways of being together, mm -hmm. uh, new connections, Right, new ways of energy is flowing. Mm -hmm. All of those things are possible now, mm -hmm. and they and from there so much emerges. Right, mm -hmm. um, we can visit many places in the world at once. Mm -hmm. We can come up together with many people. We can access works and and creations that were world until this moment. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. I and mean, we're in the moment of. I mean, it's a challenging situation because we have to. Reinvent, re understand the world that is happening to us. Yeah. So, so I, we see, for instance, I, it seems very peculiar to me that you have online exhibitions that open and close, which is kind of a pre random thing. Why would you close an exhibit? I mean, it's in the point of art to actually reach out to people. Why would you close an exhibition, right? Mm -hmm. But we're still in that transition and we're still right. in the gallery model. Right. Right. Mindset, right? Where I think that the way we 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 will end up moving on is to 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 do both, 
to embrace all of the spaces and all, with all their possibilities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So the galleries, I think that the galleries have to to reinvent themselves uh, in these new spaces. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is not just bringing a gallery and putting images there, but actually embrace works that are dealing with this new world mm -hmm. uh, with new images, with new ways of working that will emerge mm -hmm. and that we're already, some of which we're seeing already. Yeah. Right? And that, em that, em that encompasses art, but also new relations within the art world, mm -hmm. new, new, new places for art in society, yeah. <clears throat> new economic relations for art, right? Um, we also have a part of this new universe is new economies yeah. that have been experimented with. So we have to think about also how do we make this a livable and healing place for everybody. Yeah. yeah. How can we as artists, what is the place of art in this, in this moment? Yeah, yeah. And how would you acknowledge what artists have to offer? Right, so it's a, it's a two way kind of reflection. On the one hand, we have to think about what is it that we can do? What is the best we can offer? Mm -hmm. right? uh, uh, as opposed to, okay, I'm an artist and I wanna make, so what is the place of art? Part of the, what this school is trying to do is to recover some of this original mm -hmm. role of the arts as a healing practice in in the community, mm -hmm. right? We completely forgot, our, kind of forgot about that, right? Mm -hmm. That's something that we don't talk, particularly in the art world, we don't really talk much about it. Mm -hmm. And what we do is more like a, an experiment, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. one of thing. Right. Yeah. So what do we? What do we actually, as part of the challenge, we think about what art can do and, and is mm -hmm. in this new moment, right? Exactly. Just as, just as many artists is in the past, right? We just again commented with my students. Oh, the future is they had to reinvent everything. They invented a new language, mm -hmm. just like like, like Gertrude Stein did, right? So I asked them, okay, well, why is it that this point don't make sense? What is she trying to do? Mm -hmm. yeah. We're in the same place. We're in a world that we don't understand. Yeah. And it's time to think about it differently and and, and invent a new language that yeah. allows to understand it and, and, and communicate it in, in, in ways that are healing and, 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 and offers something to society. Large, not yeah. just collectors or art dealers. and Exactly. You know, allies, you know. Exactly. Well, as we come to a close, I want our audiences to continue to, to be able to follow all of the amazing work that you're doing. And so how can um, our audiences here in Seattle and beyond follow this amazing work, especially this new school that you are developing with your communities? Uh -huh. Well, that's, that's a kind of a difficult one. Uh... Um, I, do, I do have a YouTube channel okay, uh, in which I have, um, I post my videos. So it's more like a repository of, of thoughts and notes. Mm -hmm. So for me, image making has become this kind of note making kind of situation, right? Mm -hmm. I see myself more like a, kind of a poet making notes, mm -hmm. think thoughts, mm -hmm. right? How mm -hmm. could this work? Mm -hmm. And it's, it, it goes there, right? Okay. So it's a very... Uh, an even, an equal, random kind of collections of images mm -hmm. in YouTube. So that's my YouTube channel. And the school, I, I, I share with you the website for the school, but it's, it's, a, it's, it's just, it's more like a seed. It's now really germinating. I am finding people, so every day I try to do something, but I'm so busy that and life goes so in such an intensity that. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I'm happy if you share the website, Wonderful. Uh, Make sure to do that. Yeah, but uh, but it's a work in progress. So no problem. We're all works in progress. progress. <laughs> but but be it also an invitation for people to engage in whichever way they want, as teachers, as students, as I need help too, designers, yeah, whatever. You know. Right. So, um, so it's uh, I, I I yeah yeah. So so please yeah I'll I'll send you my uh, my YouTube channel. Yes. Um, um, and again, it's, it's really very much for me some, some uh, 
some sort of visual poems compilation something. Okay. And, and, and yeah, yeah, that's it. That's awesome. That will be beautiful. We'll make sure that we get all that information to accompany um, our video once it goes live. Thank you again, Manuel. This has been really, really great to have this opportunity, however brief, to chat with you. Um, and thank you to our audiences for tuning in to another Fry Art Museum virtual visit. Thank you for joining and we will be back soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.